stable, secure, affordable, window eyes. Welcome to another GW Micro How Do I Do That presentation. Today's presentation is going to talk about how to change window eyes settings at the login screen. When at the login screen using window eyes, you likely notice that you're hearing things differently, such as a different rate or synthesizer, or other settings are different compared to after you log in. When at the login screen, window eyes uses a different profile than it does after you log into your computer. Since it is using an entirely different profile, you may hear a different synthesizer, a different rate, different pitch, or any other number of settings that might be different versus after you log in. To learn more about profiles used in window eyes, read the knowledge base article that we've written found at www.gwmicro.com slash KB1124. The login screen is designed by Microsoft to be secure as to not allow unintended access to an account. Due to this security, window eyes must be run as an administrator to be able to make changes to the profile used by window eyes while on the login screen. By making changes to this profile, you can adjust settings such as the synthesizer or other changes that adhere to your personal taste. Note that the changes we're about to do apply to Windows Vista and above. We're currently using Windows 7 on this system. The first step you need to take is to run Window Eyes as an administrator. The first thing you need to do is press Windows key D to focus the desktop. So we'll press Windows key D. Window Eyes list view 6 of 8. And we're already on Window Eyes, but if you weren't on Window Eyes, you'd press the letter W until you heard the Window Eyes icon. The next thing we need to do is press Control Insert F4 to close Window Eyes. So we'll press Control Insert, insert F4. OK button. Dialog Window Eyes exit. This will shut down Window Eyes. Default OK button. Cancel button. As you can see, there's a dialog appearing asking if we want to close Window Eyes. The OK button is focused, and so we're just going to press our Enter key. Window eyes automatically close so we don't hear any speech any longer. And focus is still on our window eyes icon located on the desktop. To be sure though, as focus can change after window eyes is closed, press Windows key in the letter M as in mother to make sure that focus is still on the desktop. Now that we're sure focus is on the desktop, we can press the context menu key or press Shift F10 to bring up the context menu on the window eyes icon. Once the context menu is open, there's an option called Run as Administrator. And the shortcut key to get to this option is the letter A. So we'll press the letter A to get there now. We heard a donk sound, and this indicates that there's something called a user account control that appears on the screen. If you're using Windows Vista, you'd press Alt-C to activate the Continue button. But since we're using Windows 7, we're going to press Alt-Y to access the Yes button. Window Eyes. Start button. So Window Eyes launched, and we're now using Window Eyes as the administrator. The next thing we need to do is set our profile to the All Users profile. The All Users profile is the profile that's used at the login screen. When you launch Window Eyes after you log in, you're actually using a profile called Default. Although we've launched Window Eyes as the administrator, we're still using the default profile. So the next step we need to take is to set the active profile to all users. The first thing we're going to do is press Control backslash to open up the Window Eyes control panel. Settings E screen closed one of seven preview depth one. Dialog Window Eyes Explorer dot set. The next thing we have to do is make sure advanced options are turned on. Advanced options are found in the help menu, so we'll press Alt H to access the help menu. H. Documentation D pull down. And we'll down arrow until we hear show advanced options. Or you could just press the letter V as in Victor. Remote assistant speech and trailer tip of the day. Error recording. Show advanced options V. So I've pressed the down arrow through this menu and I hear show advanced options. If it's already checked, you don't need to press enter. You can just escape out of here. But since mine is not checked, I need to press enter. Menu closed. Screen closed one of 13. I pressed enter, the menu closed, I'm back in the settings tree view. The next thing I need to do is press P until I hear profiles. P. Profiles closed 13 of 13. You note that it said closed, so we need to open up the profiles node by pressing the right arrow. Profiles expanded 13 of 13 to items. Now that we've done that, we'll press the down arrow one time. Set active profile 1 of 2 depth 2. And here's set active profile. 
Now that we're on set active profile, we'll press our tab key. Available profiles default list view one of two. And there's a list view that says one of two. As I mentioned earlier, we're using the default profile. That's the one that's active. We're going to down arrow and we should hear all users. All users two of two. So this said all users two of two. The next thing we're going to do is tab until we hear the activate button and then we'll press space bar. So we'll tab. Current pro current pro current pro activate C button. So there's activate. Now I'll press space. Space. Installing default apps. Please wait. Dialog window eyes quick start wizard. Welcome to the window eyes quick start wizard. This quick start wizard will let you set up some of the most common window eyes. And I press my control key to silence that. You'll notice that we heard the default tones that you'd normally hear after installing window eyes for the first time. This indicates to us that we're actually in the all users profile. And we also heard the quick start wizard pop up, so we could use it to go and set our settings for the all users profile. Any settings that we make now are going to affect how WindowWise sounds while you're on the login screen. I'm going to go ahead and press escape to get out of the quick start wizard because I don't want to make a lot of changes. I just want to make a few changes. So I'll press escape. Dialog quick start wizard, are you sure you want to cancel the wizard? If you choose yes, all settings will be reverted back to their previous values. Default yes, wire button, no, and button, yes, wire button. And I'm just going to press Y for yes. Dialog window eyes quick start wizard. Dialog window eyes explorer dot set minimized. Well, suppose that I want to make a change inside of window eyes. Say, make a different synthesizer for while I'm at the login screen because my personal preference is I happen to prefer... Update I'll... notice always notify me when app updates are available. Combo box one of five. Dialog app updates available. Yes, wire button. <laughs> While you're using the all users profile, all of your apps are not updated because you have not used this profile before. So you may have this dialog appear that says that you've got apps for window eyes that need to be updated. I'm just going to go ahead and press N for no so that this dialog will disappear because we're not going to use this profile for very long. N. Dialog window eyes explorer dot set minimized. So now let's go back to trying to adjust the synthesizer because we want to change that. As I was mentioning, Eloquence is my personal preference. I know lots of people have different preferences, but I'm going to try Eloquence because that's what I want to hear at the login screen. So I'm going to do a control backslash. Settings e-screen closed one of seven preview depth one. I'm in the tree view, so I'm going to press D for devices. D. Devices closed seven of seven. I'll press right arrow. Devices expanded seven of seven two items. Then down arrow to synthesizers. Synthesizers one of two depth two. And I'm going to tab to my list of synthesizers. Synthesizers DE Talk Access 32 Window Eyes List View 7 of 21. And I'll press E for Eloquence. E. Echo PC or GP 10 of 21. E. Eloquence 11 of 21. I had to press E twice there. Now I'll press Enter. And after I press Enter, there's going to be a dialog that'll come up and ask me if I want to keep changes, which I'm going to do. Revert our button. So I'm going to Dialogs, tab. Keep changes. Keep changes. Space button. bar. Space. Synthesizers Eloquence List View 11 of 21. Dialog window eyes. And I press control to silence that. This change now affects every time that I'm at the login screen, window eyes is going to use eloquence instead of deck talk access 32. Again, you could make any number of changes. This is just an example of a change that I personally like to make. Just as a reminder, when you're making your changes, it's always a good idea to press control S to save them. So let's do a control S. S. Settings save. Settings are saved. Eloquence 11 of I'll press control to silence that. We didn't necessarily have to save the synthesizer because that's actually a change that's remembered, but it's always a good idea to save all those changes that you've made. So now that you've made your changes, we can close window eyes by pressing Control insert F4. Insert OK button. Dialog window eyes exit. This will shut down window eyes. Default OK button cancel button. Our default button is OK, so we'll press Enter. And window eyes is closed. Remember, we were using it as the administrator before, and that was our all users profile. To start window eyes back up as normal, we can just use our regular hotkey to start window eyes, which is Control Alt W. So I'll do a Control Alt W. Window eyes start button. And you can hear that eloquence is actually talking a little bit faster. It's a little bit faster rate. This is because we're back to using the default profile instead of the all users profile. The next time you're at the login screen, you'll hear WindowWise using all of the settings that you set while you were using the All Users Profile. In my case, that happens to be that I'll hear the Eloquent Synthesizer. 
If you want to, you can make changes to the All Users profile again at any time by following the steps we've outlined in this How Do I Do That video tutorial. We've also written a knowledge base article with all of these steps written out so that they're easy for you to use and follow. If you want to access that article, you can simply go to www.gwmicro.com slash kb2012 to access the knowledge base article on all of these steps. Thanks for joining us for another How Do I Do That presentation from GW Micro. For any technical support questions, you can contact our technical support department at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at gwmicro.com or call technical support at 260-489-3671. Stable, secure, affordable, windowized.